Peace. Welcome back to the Voices of Weezer show. And today we have two very special guests here with us to talk to us about the importance of being a mentor. So we have Miss Deb and Miss Ruby. Hello, ladies. How are y'all today? Hi. Hey there. We're good. That's good. I'm glad y'all could join us. So if you don't mind, could you give a quick introduction? Could y'all both give a quick introduction so people can know who you are? Sure. You go first. <laughs> I'm Ruby and I'm her mentee. Right. All right. And we met through Girls Inc. That's right. That's and, cool. That's cool. And I'm Ruby's mentor and have been for a year and I'm so lucky, but I'm also the executive director of the Midlands Mentoring Partnership. Right. Right. You said the Midlands Mentoring Men Partnership. Mm -hmm. Okay. How, that's how long has that been around? You know, it's been around since 1999. It was started by Tom Osborne and Mike Yanni who started their own mentoring programs at the same time and they wanted mentoring programs to work together but it really didn't get off the ground until 2009 when they finally were able to have paid staff for right. the organization and so since then you know we haven't been around that long but we've you know, helped uh, incubate some new mentoring programs. We've helped raise standards for mentoring and uh, tried to get a lot more mentors out there. Right, right. Is that sometimes a challenge or is it enough people or? You know, it's really hard to find mentors because uh, everybody's so busy these days. And, and there's right. this idea that people have that it's going to take a lot of time and they don't have time and, you know, or, or, you know, they don't have whatever to be a good mentor. And, and so we're here today to let people know it's a lot easier than they think. It's way more fun than they would ever even realize. And, um, yeah, there's so many great benefits for the, uh, the mentor. Um, and so I want to share that with other people. Right, yeah, that is a good thing, because I think it's a very important to be a mentor. I mean, I, I think everybody benefits, so I don't see what would be the issue. That's why I wanted to bring y'all here today, so that maybe y'all could be a shining example of how much fun you can have. So, like, what's, what's y'all favorite part about being together? Hmm. You good one? So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting to do stuff, like, if one of your family members, whoever is your guardian, can't do stuff like actively with you, you can do it with your mentor. Right, right. That sounds good. And we learn a lot from each other. I know I've learned a lot from Ruby. She's, we've gotten, well, we, she's taught me about music and she taught me how to do tie-dye, which I'd never done before. Yeah. <laughs> I now have several pieces of tie-dye clothing and That's cool. <laughs> uh, she's taught me about apps on my phone that I can be using and all sorts of cool things. Um, what else? We just, I get to do fun things that I wouldn't normally get to do. You know, it's like, I love, I don't know, we've gone swimming, we've uh, gone to Funplex, like that's not something I'd normally get to do. Yeah, that's what I but, need to go too. <laughs> you know, I know, it's like, but when you get to ride rides and do something fun, and what else have we done? Dog park. The dog park, that's one of the things that we both love dogs. And, right. and that's, you know, we celebrate that. We've gotten to do other t what else have we done with animals humane society the humane society we got a behind the scenes tour and i mean you know just because we both have the same interest and that's what we try to do in mentoring is make sure that we're matching adults and youth that have things in common right, uh, right. so that you know they can build on that and and grow together that's a really important part of the relationship Right, definitely, definitely. So is there any other, like, is there any other ways that mentors and mentees come together? Like, is it? Sure, mentors and mentees, uh, you know, there's some one-to-one -one relationships like we have, but mentors can also be, uh, work with groups of, you know, up to three to four youth at one time. Oh, okay, uh, I know that. You know, yeah, mentors can, 
you know, do lunchtime mentoring in the school. They can do after school mentoring at a school or a, you know, a specific site. Or, um, you know, there's faith based mentoring. There's all sorts of mentoring for specialized audiences and, and different ways. There just isn't one type. And so that's, we try to get that message out too that it's really easy to um, find a mentoring program that's going to fit your interests serve the youth that you want to be serving and fit your schedule and that's what we try to do at Midlands Mentoring Partnership is help mentors find the right organization. Right, so does the partnership work with OPS or different school districts a lot or is that? Yeah, we really rely on Omaha Public Schools to be uh, an important partner in the work we do and I mean they've been exceptional to work with. We, try, we col have collected data for the last you know 10 years to figure out who's being served with mentoring, who's not being served. And, you know, there's just some kids in Omaha that really need mentors. And so Omaha Public Schools is, uh, along with the Empowerment Network, has played a really important role in helping us identify some youth that can truly benefit from a mentor. And then um, we've worked with a variety of mentoring programs to try to support those kids. Right. Right. That's a beautiful thing. <laughs> it is a beautiful thing because there are a lot of kids that, um, you know, whose parents are so busy or there's, you know, challenges that, you know, they aren't able to, um, you know, make the time to find a mentor for their youth. But so we go to families and say, okay. you know, we think we can help, you know, your youth by providing a mentor. Would you be interested? And we're doing that with uh, well, a variety of of kids and um, we're going to start doing it with uh, we're starting a new mentoring program for refugee youth uh, we have an NBA basketball player Lawal Dang he right. plays for the Lakers and he's helping us start a mentoring program specifically for refugee youth and again Omaha Public Schools is going to be a very important partner in that work in helping us identify those youth um, that right. you know are um, you know, from families that have come here and that might need some extra supports. Right, right. Yeah, that's real big. And I like Dane too. He's a good. He seems like a good guy. Oh, so you follow the Lakers? Yeah, yeah. yeah he was with. He used to play with the Bulls, and that's oh, my that's team. Oh, that's right. Okay. <laughs> so, but I like him as a player, so yeah. I always kind of keep track. You know, mm -hmm. and he seems like he does a lot of work for the community and stuff. So, uh, you know, that's always a plus. It is. He does a lot of work uh, here in Omaha and uh, supporting the Omaha Talons and, you know, some other projects that are going on here to serve refugee youth. Yeah, yeah, that's really cool. That's really mm -hmm. cool. So what made you want to get involved in this type of work to, you know? You know, I've, I've had eight foster kids and, uh, you know, love. Um, I just learned from that experience that there's a lot of really great kids out there through no fault of their own uh, could just use a little extra help and right. so this was just a natural um, you know I don't have the education for it my master's is in history and art history it has nothing uh, to do with <laughs> education or but um, but I have a lot of experience that I've learned I've read a lot of research and uh, you know there's just a lot of great kids out there that just the research shows that just having another caring adult in their life is going to have such an impact on helping them academically, helping them in decreasing risky behaviors, right. you know, helping with their social emotional skills that they need uh, to be successful in life. And I, I mean, it's there's just so many great benefits to having a mentor. Right, definitely, definitely, and I think that's real cool too. You can have somebody you can go off with that's not necessarily a parent, mm -hmm. you know. Cause I know when I was that age, it was like when my, my like my dad would say something, it would kind of be like, yeah. <laughs> but then it was like somebody that was like you know in their twenties would say it. Oh and yeah. Like, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Go to college. <laughs> you know. Like, yeah. That is so true. Yeah. So when anybody but your parent tells you something, it's <laughs> right. It's like a totally different thing. Like okay. That's right. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So Ruby, do what's your favorite hobbies? Do you have any hobbies? I don't want to leave you just sitting here. You know? Yeah, um, I want an iPhone because I like taking pictures of like scenery and I like playing with my dog outside. Oh yeah, that's cool. Photography. 
That's one of the reasons she agreed to do the interview today because she is interested in photography and I told her she could see the, the, the cameras that you're using to do the videotaping here. Oh yeah, you gotta come and so, learn how to, how to work with them. And, that's you know. right. Yeah, you can. <laughs> oh, she wants to be in front of the cameras though, right? <laughs> no, you want to take pictures. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. She's so talented at so many things. She can do whatever she wants. Yeah, that's that's a beautiful thing. Like truly, like dancing. We took dance lessons together really? too. <laughs> yes. And what kind she, of dance did y'all do? <laughs> ballet. 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 That's cool. That's real cool. You get on like Broadway and stuff like that. You yeah. like that type of stuff? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't do it for very long. <laughs> <laughs> dance seems fun. I always wanted to take dance lessons, like learn to waltz or something. Yes. Like that. <laughs> and but the good thing is, though, Ruby's willing to try anything. You know, it's like we both just you know experiment, see if we like something, and then you know. So yeah, that's the best part of life. It is the best part of life having a friend to do stuff like that with. Right. So. Right. And it's like sometimes you do something and like you don't know if you want to do it, but you got somebody there with you, like, oh, we can laugh about it later. Or <laughs> like, hey, this is really good, you know? Like, that's always a beautiful thing to me. It is a beautiful thing. Definitely. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. So yeah. do you think that there's, like, any challenges or anything that you would want to address as far as getting, like, maybe a certain group of people or anybody else, like, you know, more type, different types of mentors that you might need? Or? Yeah, we really... Um, I mean, we always are looking for more men and men of color in particular. Um, we're, and it's, you know, people are so busy. It is hard right. to recruit. Um, but we're here to say, you know, we can make it easy that being a mentor, you know, like you've even come to work with me. We've gone to the grocery store together. I mean, it's right. not like it's all you know, fun and games, right? <laughs> You've gone to meetings with me. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, it's, um, it, it's a little bit of fitting into, you know, things that we're already doing and then a little bit of fun. And, and so that's, that's part of mentoring, you know, that, right. um, and it doesn't have to be. I mean, we say we want four hours a month for a mentor, but, you know, that's flexible too. It's like, sometimes we'll just text or talk on the phone or, and then, Sometimes we'll spend four hours just in one get together. Um, right, right. You know, and it's, there's training, background checks, all sorts of things that we do to make sure that kids are safe. And, Definitely. but you know, we, we don't want anybody to be concerned about background checks and that kind of stuff. For some reason, everybody, you know, if they got a driving violation, you right. know, they're worried that, you know, something, and, you know, we, we really have an inclusive background check policy. Uh, we know that if somebody got in trouble in their past, uh, it might make them an even better mentor because they know how easy it is to right. get in trouble and the ramifications. And so they might be a great mentor uh, to somebody. And so we really want people to understand that, you know, just because you got in trouble in your past, don't let that keep you from becoming a mentor because Definitely. you have an important story to tell to a young person. And, and we just try, we know how to keep kids safe um, by some screening that we do in addition to the background check. So it isn't all about the background check. Um, right. You know, the training is an important part of what we do too to, um, you know, just help un adults understand um, you know, ways that we can be a positive role model, but we're not the parent, we're not preaching to them a certain faith, we're not, right. you know, trying to save or fix anybody, you know, I mean, yeah, it's, it's just about being a friend. And, and so, you know, we do provide some training to kind of just help uh, mentors. And then there's all sorts of case management for mentors. You know, if anything comes up, there's somebody they can call right away, you know, and, okay. and get answers to questions about how can I take care of a situation or, you know. Right, right. Um, it's like always support. There's always support, exactly, for mentors in all of our mentoring programs. And so. Um, That's good. That's good. Yeah. I think that would ease people's minds a little, especially like you do a training session. Like, is that like, how long, is it like a time? Period? So a lot of the mentoring programs have two hour training before okay. you become. Um, 
uh, a mentor, yes. I mean, there's some where it's longer training, um, but, that, but that's usually about the average. Yeah, that's not too bad so, at all. No, it really isn't. Um, yeah, I mean, they, you'll go through some interviews to be screened, uh, but, you know, the same thing with, you know, the mentee goes through some interviews too, and some of that is just finding what your interests are. Um, you know, so that they can find the right person. Because it, it does take time. I mean, they don't just randomly put people together. It really is based on some scientific evidence about, you know, what's going to be a successful match. Right, right. That's important, too. Because mm -hmm. it seems like a lot of people, that's might be what they worry about. Like, what am I going to do? I don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, especially like probably the first time you do it. Mm -hmm. Like, because that's what I would be worried about. Like, okay, I don't know what to say. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So it's like you get a little training and talk mm -hmm. to people who've done it before. And they give you tools. Like, do you remember the first time we met in that room at Girls Inc? Yeah, we talked to each other. We got a piece of paper and wrote down like our favorite color, what we like to do, what's our birthday, what's your name. <laughs> You have a great memory, <laughs> but, but that's what I'm talking about. There are tools that are used to kind of help just break that ice and get to know each other, even in the first meeting. And then we had all sorts of things in that room that we could have played with that day and, you know, to help us make plans. But, yeah, I, you know, the mentoring programs are there to make it easy. We work with you know, a whole variety. Can I name the mentoring programs? Yeah, definitely, definitely. You know, and I hope I don't leave any out, but, you know, 100 Black Men is an important one. Girls, Inc., Big Brother, Big Sister, uh, Partnership for Kids, Hope Center, Release Ministries. Which one? Boys and Girls Club. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Youth Emergency Services. Now you made me. <laughs> uh, YMCA. Oh, I know I'm forgetting some. But anyway, there's a whole variety of, of mentoring programs. And, and we can match people up to the one that really works for them. Right. So. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's good. I like you mentioned Boys and Girls Club, too. <laughs> I used to go there when I was little. I, I loved it. I mean, that was my first time ever having like a mentor type person around. Mm -hmm. You know, when we went, it was like, like I was probably like seven or eight. Mm -hmm. and so it's like the, the older kids like kind of watched over us, showed us what to do. Right. And, and it was, it was wonderful. Like, I loved it. It is. Those kind of informal mentoring relationships are so important. And right. usually young kids like a younger adult, you know, to yeah. kind of look up to anyway. I'm so old, but we still are able to have a good right. friendship. But, but that reminds me, when you said that one, Partnership for Kids is another one. It's okay. an after-school program yeah, that yeah, does group that. mentoring. Uh, yeah. Um, lots of good ones. Yeah, yeah so it's no shortage. There isn't, yes. And, and we believe, you know, informal mentoring, formal mentoring, it's all important. You know, right. that's, I, I think it would be so hard to be a kid today. And there's just right. so many things out there that you're exposed to, you know, and just right. having another adult in your life that you can talk to about, you know, just some of the challenges you face. Yeah, uh, I think, I mean, well, it is pretty important, the research tells us. Yeah, so. I think so too. I very, I think so a lot because I see like like my younger cousins and kids in the neighborhood, and it's like just they seem way more advanced than I was mm -hmm. at like nine or ten, and it's like okay, wow, yeah, you do need somebody. To, no, you don't want to do that, like you know. That's right. So, yes. Yeah, somebody who can help them make some choices right. in life, or or even be exposed to things that they may not have otherwise, like. Um, like, you got to meet the governor, didn't you? Oh, wow. Did, and you got to meet another politician. Do you remember his name? Or not, pu public servant. Chris Rogers, oh. our county commissioner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and having exposure to, you know, just things that you might not have otherwise. Does it make you think you might want to go into public policy someday? What's that? Or what they do. They work on policies to be a politician or a... No. Candidate for office, no. <laughs> <laughs> be the governor. <laughs> it seems like it could be fun, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh, but that exposure is important, too, to know what you don't want to do right, in your career. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. So you can be like, okay, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm going to go to college for this. Like, yeah, that's, that's definitely. But Ruby has a great family and a fabulous mom. And... 
you know, this is just something that she can do for fun, right? Yeah. Just some, you've had some days in the summer, you've been a little bored? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember those days. Yeah. <laughs> I know that you miss those days. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You're like, I'm going to go climb a tree today. <laughs> Look at the clouds. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So how could a person get in contact if they want to become a mentor? So Mentor Omaha Now, if they uh, Google that, it'll lead them to our website. And we have a survey on our website that helps people. Uh, we ask a few questions, helps them find a mentoring program. Or they can just call us and you know we'll do an informal interview and help them find the right mentoring program for them. Okay. So That's mm -hmm. good. That's good. Yeah. Or just call one of the mentoring programs directly, too. Uh, okay. You know, we do have a list of all our mentoring programs on our website. Um, okay, okay. So yeah. just go to the website and mm -hmm. just start the process there. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. I know. The, I remember the partnership for kids. That's mm -hmm. the after school one. That is after school. Yeah, I've been there a couple times. It seems like they have a lot of fun doing that. They do. I've mentored for them too. And, you know, it, and that's one of the things when you're a mentor, you get tickets to all these free things. Oh, really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I forgot to say that. It's like, so I was going to things that I wouldn't normally think to even go to, like the horse show that was at the, you know, auditorium. Well, well, like, well, they do the, like, the prancing and all that. Oh, isn't that fascinating? Yeah, I like those. I've seen them on TV before. Yeah, it's, and so mentors are given these free tickets. Uh, so you really get to, you know, we don't want mentoring to cost anything. You know, yeah. it's even just going for a walk is an important way to connect with a young person right. uh, or just play a game over your lunch hour, you know, with, uh, this, at the school with a student or whatever the case might be. Um, but there are activities that you get tickets to, which is kind of fun. Right, right, definitely. Mm -hmm. So do you want to say anything to anybody before we leave, Ruby? Hi, Mom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to be embarrassed. <laughs> don't worry. Nobody watches the show, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you said the website was again? So uh, it's uh, Mentor Omaha Mentor Now Omaha. or Midlands Mentoring Partnership. Um, MentorOmahaNow.org will get you there. Okay. So. That's a good thing. So I hope that we've encouraged some people to come out and mentor and they can see how much fun it could be. Because I think that's a very important thing. I need to find time myself to include it. So, well, I want to thank you ladies again for coming out and doing mm -hmm. this with us. I really, very truly appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And I hope you all have a you know, good rest of the day. Mm -hmm. And if it's any t ever an event or anything like that that comes mm -hmm. up, you can feel free to come in. Mm -hmm. And we can do our part to get the word out, you know. Well, we appreciate that. And we appreciate your putting a spotlight on mentoring because... It is a way we can really make a difference in the world. And so yeah. thank you for oh, yeah, thank um, you. giving thank us some time. No problem. I definitely agree with you on that. Mm -hmm. So that is, again, the end of the show, my friends. So if Thanks. you got it, yeah, see, that's what you got to do. If, if you find it in your heart and you have time to be a mentor, please go and sign up. And um, you can, again, see us at the voicesofreasonshow.com. You can contact us if you need any of this information from the show. So with that, I'm going to say peace and have a great night. Thank you.